Championship. It is game number two between Panama and Canada in the quarterfinal stage of this competition from Domo Polideportivo in Guatemala City. It is the winners of Group B and the runners up in Group C. And we, as we take a look at the road to the trophy, we're in the upper right on the right, and the right side of the bracket, Panama and Canada. The winner will take on the winner of Costa Rica and Suriname. The United States has already moved on to the semifinals and qualified for the World Cup later on this year in Lithuania after taking down their first opponent here this afternoon. So it's Panama and Canada, this Panamanian side coming off a 5-4 win over Mexico on Wednesday. On the other side for Canada, they lost to Costa Rica 5-1, but their first match against Haiti on Tuesday was a 4-2 win, which enabled them to finish in second place in Group C, and they qualified for this round. On the other side for Panama, their first game was an 11-1 win against Suriname on Monday, and Suriname will take on Costa Rica coming up next here from Domo Polideportivo. So another opportunity for another team to get into the semifinals of this competition and also to qualify for the World Cup coming up later on this year in Lithuania. So it's Canada and it's Panama. It is coming up next here from Domo Polideportivo. It's the 2021 CONCACAF Futsal Championship. cordial bienvenida a los equipos nacionales de Panamá y Canadá para el segundo juego de esta tarde de los cuartos de final del campeón. ponerse de pie para el himno nacional de Panamá, seguido por el himno nacional de Canadá.
two very proud nations get set for this quarterfinal matchup. It's Panama and it's Canada. Look at today's referee. Today's first referee will be Carlos Gonzalez from right here in Guatemala. It'll be the captain coming out for both sides. Robert Renault for Canada. On the other side for Panama, it's Edgar Rivas. And a look at today's starting lineups for Panama. Jaime Londano is back in goal for Jose Botana, today's coach. Abdiel Ortiz has been very impressive in this competition and definitely one to watch as this game continues. Alfonso McKenzie, he also picked up a yellow card last time out. As for Canada, Joshua Lemos will be in goal today and Ian Bennett, one to watch for Canada. Robert Renault, he is the captain of this Canadian side. And Kite Selidopoulos, is the coach for this Canadian team. He said on 2016, we came close, but it's a learning process. We're a little bit better prepared to face the challenges this time around. But can they get this done? When you, and I'm sure when you talk to these teams, you want to win this competition, but really it's all about getting to the World Cup. What a great accomplishment it could be for both of these nations. For Panama, they have been to the last two World Cups those were their first two appearances back in 2012 and 2016. And for Canada, it's been since 1989 that they have been in the Futsal World Cup. So a big opportunity for both of these teams here this afternoon from Guatemala City. Domo Polideportivo. We already saw the United States take down the Dominican Republic. And now it's quarterfinal number two. We're on the other side of the bracket now. Groups B and C matching up. We're just about set, waiting for the top of the hour. It's Canada and it's Panama. The second quarter final of four on this Friday afternoon. Tomorrow, the semifinals. Sunday will be the championship match along with the third place match. And here we go, it's Panama in red, it's Canada in white. We are underway from Domo Polideportivo. And it doesn't look like the clock has started yet. And we'll see if they can get this ratified, but it looks like we are good to go. Here's Alfonso McKenzie. And now Abdiel Ortiz. And now they will stop play as you could see the, looks like the Canadian coach, Keitzelidopoulos saying that the clock had not started yet. So they will work to rectify the situation. So they will put this back in play. They took about 20 seconds off the clock and we can get things going again. Abdiel Ortiz on the ball. He was such a good player in the game against Mexico, which Panama really had to work for that night. A 5-4 win against the Mexican side. But it was a game that really, they didn't have to win just because of the goal difference that they Accumulated in that win against Suriname as the first shot by Alfonso McKenzie finds side netting. Well, the onus that night was on Mexico to go and find the game. And they had to come back a couple of times. Mexico made it difficult. And Jaime Londano, a couple of mistakes at the back, really gave Mexico a chance to come back in that game. But ultimately, it was Panama coming out victorious 5-4 on the night. Shot coming from Ortiz, and this deflection will take it out. Corner kick now coming. Lemos didn't really know nothing about it. Shamale got a touch on it right off his back. Here's McKenzie trying to turn the corner, and this one deflected back to Lemos in goal. Here's Ian Bennett, the MVP of the MASL with the Milwaukee Wave in the United States. Ian Bennett, definitely the player to watch for this Canadian side in this competition. A team that beat Haiti 4-2 to 
on Tuesday, then lost to the top Costa Rican side as McKenzie's shot deflected into side netting. It'll be a corner kick. So Ortiz puts this in, starting for the second straight match as Perez sends that out of play. Perez, who scored on Wednesday against Mexico. Can't be kept in play by Damian Graham. And back to Panama it goes. We had a low scoring first quarter final between the United States and the Dominican Republic. We'll see if that keeps up as these quarterfinals continue. So much passion and tension in these quarterfinal matches with so much on the line. A win today would mean two more matches you get to play in the semifinal. And then if you win that in the final, if you lose, you're in the third place match against the other loser or winner. And the referee saying no more chirping. We've seen a lot of that throughout this competition. Players fired up to be representing their home nations. Play behind Ortiz. He keeps this in play. Some pressure here from Canada. Can they get back defend? They can. McKenzie quick on the ball. Ortiz, his shot into the arms of Lemos, and he distributes quickly. Here comes Canada back the other way. In transition, chance for the opening goal. He sits on it, it's right in front, still down, and Landano finally grabs it. The Canadian player was sitting on the ball and then back the other way. This ball deflected out and the player for Canada is down back the other way. Here's another look at this. Graham set it up there for Leconte and he was literally sitting on the ball he couldn't get it out from underneath him. And then Londano finally was able to grab it. And here's that deflection back the other way on the sliding challenge coming in. Belguinduz, the former Canadian futsal player of the year, sliding in in defense. Rolled in, and now here comes Canada back in transition. A couple of transitional moments early on, and Landano dives and knocks this out for a corner. It was Graham setting up for the shot. Elguindo puts it back in. Low shot deflected out by McKenzie. Another corner kick. Here's Graham. Chamele. Belguendo sends it back forward. It deflects out. Another kick in now coming for Canada here in the opening three minutes. And so far it's Canada with really the best chance to score. Out in transition, not able to provide the finish though. Perez taken off the ball. As Canada looks to knock this back downfield, and here they come with Graham. Chamele will play this back for Lemos in goal. It was Graham all by himself, and Aparicio was back in defense, and he had to do some quick defending there. Pico Reynaud tried to step by a couple of defenders, but ends up losing it out of play. And more subs on now for Canada. It's a Canadian side that also has never made it out of the group stage, much like the Dominican Republic. There's been some fun stories in this 2021 CONCACAF Futsal Championship. 
as a shot is sent in but blocked down. And Canada trying to come back the other way in the attack. As McKenzie steps in. And he'll lead the attack. Shot is blocked out of play. But teams such as Suriname, the Dominican Republic, El Salvador, really all the second place teams, including this Canadian side, getting a taste of the group stage for some of them the first time. And a great opportunity to take down and these top teams in CONCACAF such as Guatemala, such as this Panamanian side, Costa Rica, the defending champs as well. And the United States, they have already qualified. And a goal clearance now coming up for Canada. Shot comes on, Lemos makes the save, and then knocks it out. Me Lord, just teeing up that shot. Haregi went to ground, and Lemos just needs a moment to recollect himself. Sent in, and Hinks now has to get back and do some defending. Bennett coming forward. So quick on the ball, Ian Bennett. His cross taken by Londano. Panama distributes quickly. Back the other way, Milord. Getting this wide, he'll get it right back. The shot blocked down, Renault sliding in. on the turn, and this will be a foul going against Canada. Safoy La. Here's Oscar Hinks. He scored a goal yesterday, rolls this in low. And it's knocked away, cleared all the way back downfield by Canada. And this will be another foul coming this time against Haregi. Once again, Hinks will put this back into play. Played short. Millord knocked away. Graham trying to chase this down. Londano sends it back downfield. Hinks. Castrillon now on the ball for Panama. Rivas. It was Castrillon who was cut off from making that run. Another goal clearance now for Canada. Graham is back to goal, taken off the ball. Castrillon. Played down the line, and this one straight out of play. Panama was so good with their passing a day ago against Mexico. Really seemed like a clean performance all the way through. Maybe a couple of mistakes in defense, but aside from that, they were the stronger team of the two against Mexico and were able to squeak out the one goal win. And right now, Canada looks like speeding them up just a little bit. Be interesting to see when Abdiel Ortiz comes back on. He's really the spark for this Panamanian side. Okay. 
Milord. Walking this up now for Panama. Castrillon goes down, gets back to his feet. Ball's played wide, back for Milord at the top of the penalty area. And now Canada can come back the other way. Graham's in the middle. Deflects for Bennett. Londano comes off his line and makes a big save. Nearly the opening goal for Canada. Graham just able to flick that clear, and Bennett would have scored if not for the save. And this will be a goal clearance. Bennett thought that went off a Panamanian player last. Here's Abrego. And now Castrillon fouled. The foul's really starting to mount up here on Canada. Have to be careful with still 13 minutes left in this first half. Hinks, low drive in on the free kick. And then back the other way, right into Londano's arms. Castrillon. Hinks. Abrego. Is it down the line? Castrillon shot. Saved by Lemos. Came in from a weird angle, might have taken a deflection on the way. But Lemos able to make the save. Graham at that pivot position. It's knocked out. Another look at that shot. Castrione, yeah, did take a deflection off Leconte. Also blows, it'll be a foul. So free kick now for Canada. Lemos will take this. Now Bennett. Chamele. Lemos. Plays it into the corner. Not able to connect with Marco Rodriguez. This one knocked down a play and another foul on Canada, or will this just be a kick in? Looks like just a kick in here. Londano helping now with the build up. Well out of goal and does his job well. will go back to Canada now. This game's still looking for a bit of a flow. Some stop and start. Plenty of kick-ins here in the opening eight and a half minutes. This will deflect out of play. Played in towards midfield. Peregi. We'll get this back from Chamele. Play this downfield. It's poked out of play. Marco Rodriguez losing possession there for Canada. Landano now organizing his defense. Shot comes on. Landano forced into a save. Dico Renault with the shot. Put in again. And this did not take a touch on the way out. Back to Panama on the other side. Pinks in transition. Ortiz so good on the ball. Keeps this alive. McKenzie. Ortiz. 
Ortiz, look at that footwork. Keeps it moving for Hinks, but it's knocked away. Here's Ortiz. Figures to play a big part in Panama's success. If they are to have some today. And this one put out of play. Kick in coming for Canada. It'll be a Eduardo Horegi. in the back, but play continues. Campos, McKenzie. Now Ortiz. Ortiz is shot, will loop into the arms of Lemos in goal. forward but all the way out of play. This one taken away. Good chance for Canada. Graham on the turn has to put on the brakes. La on the other side. Never got to him. Campos. Now Ortiz. Conte has to come in and knock this out. Past the midway point of this first half. 2021 CONCACAF Futsal Championship. It's the second quarter final between Panama and Canada. The United States already through to the semifinals after taking out the Dominican Republic. Hinks through the middle. Going to ground Conte. Head for Hanks, shooting opportunity, but Graham steps in. And now Bennett will slow things down for Canada. Light ahead, and then knocked down a play. Long shot coming on. Londonio called into action. Big chance there for Canada. That shot from a long way out. Hard to beat Londonio from there. Two number 10s going at it. Did this go off a of blast? It did go off of Ortiz. Kick in for Canada. Del Rosario taken off the ball. And here comes Renault. Shot comes and comes wide. In 2016, there were only eight teams in this competition, which means just the final four qualified one of the semifinals and finals, Lemos makes a save, but those semifinals were still very high scoring. 11 goals in Panama's win over Cuba. And then it was a 7-1 win for Costa Rica over Guatemala. So, so far the scoring, in, at least in these quarterfinals, is down from last year's semifinals. But this only the second of four, so Plenty of time for that script to change as the day progresses. <laughs> A 
couple of subs now. More than a couple coming on for Canada. Reggie will put this back into play. Lemos sends this down. Landania just has to tip this away. There's a question as to whether he was inside his penalty area or not. Wednesday, he came flying out of his penalty area, which actually led to a Mexico goal. So definitely something to watch. Well, Jaime Landano in goal today for Panama. Coming centrally, now getting this wide. Ahead, the shot, blocked out of play. Ruman Milord. Put back into play. Chamele. It looks like a foul coming against Edgar Rivas. And now quickly put back in. Ian Bennett shot, saved by Londano. Pushed out of play, six and a half minutes to go in this first half. Lemos, clip this into the corner, brought down. Rodriguez, he goes down. Heavy challenge coming in. Horegi will win a kick in. Cleaning up a wet spot there in front of the Canadian bench. Reggie will put this back in. Sends it to the back post, and Bennett was crashing in. Just didn't get there in time. Good move there from Canada, just not able to find the finish as of yet. For Canada, this is their first time in the knockout stage. But on the other side for Panama, their fifth appearance in the CONCACAF Futsal Championship. As they get into the attack here, knocks into the arms of Lemos. Their best finish came in 2016, losing that final to Costa Rica, finishing in second place. But they have gotten better at each and every tournament. Fifth in 04, fourth in 08, third in 2012, and then second in 2016. So if you believe in the pattern, it means this Panamanian team is going to win, the, win this competition here in 2021. We'll see how things shake out. Unfortunately for Panama and for Canada, they are on the same side as Costa Rica, the defending champions of this competition. So that'll be a semi-final potentially if Panama gets through and so does Costa Rica later tonight. Graham goes down. Bennett playing him the ball, just getting tangled up with Alan Aparicio. And a free kick coming for Canada. Five minutes to go. Belgando will take this. Now he'll run away. Leconte will play this ball in duo and has it blocked down. Aparicio. Into the middle. And now Graham 
It's a three on one. Graham gets this wide. Bennett getting back into the middle. Might have just wanted to take that himself. Landonio distributes. Now a two on one back the other way. There's something on for McKenzie. Aparicio into the middle. Laconte will get this out. And Graham. Graham shot at the outside of the right foot, out of play. And sequence of play for both sides. And that forces us into a timeout. 4.31 left in this first half. Still looking for that first goal in this second quarter final. Winner moves on to face Costa Rica or Suriname. That's the next match coming up. And the nightcap will be El Salvador taking on the hosts, Guatemala. Canada came close in 2016. They lost to Cuba 7-4 in the final group stage match, which would have sent them to the semifinals and ultimately the World Cup. Unfortunately for them, they lost that game. And here was that last sequence for Canada. Graham getting it wide for Bennett. We then try to get it right back for Graham, and I think Graham was thinking just go for goal. Sent downfield, and Graham has to touch this out of play. Here's Landano helping with the build out once again. Ortiz's shot. Not really testing Lemos there in goal. And it's out for a goal clearance. Graham gets tripped up. And this will be going the way of Canada now with four minutes to go. Shot comes on, Landano has to touch this out for a corner. Leconte. Back towards Landano and goal, and they'll do it again. La. Now they'll play this around. Dico Renault into the corner now. Mujen. Shot is wide. Freddy Mugen was the Golden Boot winner in the last edition of this competition back in 2016. Did it all in the group stage, an impressive performance in 2016 from Mugen. Brazilian born, five goals in three games in 2016 as this is put out of play. Well, Panama started bright in this game, but since then Canada has really settled in, especially defensively. No real clear-cut op uh, opportunities coming for Panama. So Mujen will win a kick in. Another one in towards Landano. Brings this in. Ortiz, McKenzie. Headed back into the middle and then quickly headed away by La. Shot comes on and it's just wide, McKenzie. And Lemos just rolls this straight out of play. Canada was making a sub and Lemos didn't realize. Here's another look at that shot, not too far away. So Canada just throws that out of play, turnover. A 
Ortiz. Here's Ricardo Ledesma. McKenzie played a big part in this first half so far for Panama. Gets this wide shot, saved by Lemos. Leconte. McKenzie. Ortiz on the other side. McKenzie will go for goal. Saved again by Lemos. It's been forced into some big saves already in this first half. Under two minutes to go now. McKenzie. Unable to keep it in play. And some frustration here from Panama as we get into the final two minutes. We get a goal before halftime. Ortiz, Hinks, crosses this. There's Ortiz on it again. Perez, Hinks. And it's touched out of play by Ricardo Ledesma. Bennett in a tough spot, able to still keep possession. Chamale, right through the middle, giving away to Hinks. One minute to go. Ledesma shot out of play. Rodriguez. Now it's Ledesma to get it right back for Panama. And so far a stalemate between these two sides. Ortiz. Perez, Ortiz. Comes middle and scores. Just before halftime, Panama able to break the deadlock. It's Abdiel Ortiz for Panama. Just looking for a window to shoot there. It looked like this took a massive deflection. Just changed directions right in front of Lemos and that is a tough one to take if you're Canada who had held out for so long in this First 20 minutes and now all of a sudden it's undone but still only one goal down. Ortiz puts this out of play. Dico Reynon now to put this back in. 10 seconds. Is there something left for Canada? Chamele. Lemos will send this towards goal and out of play. And Panama I'm sure will just see out the final three seconds. That is the end of the first half. So Panama scores late on in the final few seconds of this first 20 minutes. And now Canada needs to come back come half number two. Panama's halfway to the semifinals. It's halftime, it's Panama one, it's Canada nil.
Halftime from quarterfinal number two of this 2021 CONCACAF Futsal Championship. It's Canada taking on Panama this afternoon from Guatemala City. An interesting first 20 minutes. It started off the way of Panama. They were really putting some pressure on this Canadian side, but it really flipped there towards the midway point where then Canada started to put more pressure on this Panamanian defense. And this was maybe the best chance of the first half for Canada. They had it maybe a foot away from going in, but Leconte was sitting on the ball, couldn't get it out from underneath them, and then Panama really started to get going again. Lemos with some chances. Graham had a good half. Bennett denied here by Londano in goal. But this was another good chance. Castrillon forcing Lemos into another save. Londano back the other way then for Panama. There were saves from both goalkeepers in this first 20 minutes to keep it scoreless, but eventually it would be Panama to get that go-ahead goal. Leconte sending this one wide, but really some good chances in this first 20 minutes, and it'll be interesting to see come the second 20 minutes whether Panama becomes a bit more defensive now with that goal that they were able to score, and of course Canada now, they have to take the game to Panama. They've been close a couple of times, We'll see how long it takes before they put on that extra player. And here was that goal. Abdiel Ortiz cutting back to his right foot there on the assist from Carlos Perez. But Abdiel Ortiz able to score the opening goal for Panama in this first 20 minutes. And now we are halfway home, and Panama is halfway to a semifinal and a berth in the 2021 FIFA Futsal World Cup. So 20 minutes down, 20 to go. It's Panama 1, it's Canada 0.
We are back for half number two in quarterfinal number two. It's Panama taking on Canada, and just before halftime, Panama able to strike the first goal of the game. And that gives them the one nil advantage coming into this second half. And it's 20 more minutes for Canada to try to pull back level, or else it will be Canada, or pardon me, Panama moving on to the semifinal round and qualifying for this year's World Cup. So here we go. The second 20 minutes is underway. Canada trying to pull a bit of an upset and take down this Panamanian side that finished second in last year's competition, and pardon me, in 2016's competition. And there's Ortiz showing off that good footwork to start this second half. Alfonso McKenzie, one of the starters, and now here's Roman Milord. Touch for Joshua Lemos, who was busy in that first 20 minutes. We'll see if that continues here in this second 20 minutes. Ian Bennett sends this across, and his teammate wasn't making the run. Daniel Chamele just let that run out of play. Carlos Perez, who's coming off the hat trick the other day against Mexico. We'll see if he can influence this second half for Panama as they look to try to extend its advantage and gain some insurance against this Canadian side that has looked fairly dangerous at moments in this game so far. And Chamele commits the foul, and this will be, it looks like a yellow card. Chamele in the book. Canada, they had four different goal scorers in their win against Haiti, and then it was Ian Bennett who was able to score the lone goal in the loss to Costa Rica. And plenty of goal scorers for Panama, but already a couple of hat tricks for Carlos Perez in this competition as Diaz, pardon me, Ortiz takes a shot on, and it's put out of play by Lemos. Get it rolling again through McKenzie. Get it back, and the shot is put out of play. Gilles Campos was holding up play and was setting it there for Campos. Lemos puts this all the way downfield, but it's taken away. Ortiz for McKenzie, Lemos way out of goal. Shot comes on, saved off the line. The rebound by Campos, he can't believe he put it out of play. Look at this opportunity, Ortiz. And luckily, Chamele was waiting on the line as Lemos came way out of his goal. Canada lucky to still be just 1-0 down. Shirkite Zelidopoulos. Very wary of what this Panamanian side can do coming into the attack. They switch the play, good pass, Ortiz. Unable to get by Dico Reno. Once again, trying to find McKenzie, but out of play. 
Now Conte will send this down the line for Graham. Graham trying to turn unsuccessfully. Ortiz gets this back. Here comes Ortiz. Gets this wide. McKenzie. They'll stay with Panama on the kick in. McKenzie, now Ortiz. Lemos helping out with the distribution here as he'll now go back in the goal. Nico Reno, Leconte. Heitzelidopoulos barking out instructions from the Canadian bench area. Remember Panama in all red, Canada in all white tonight. Mujen has now come in for Canada, number nine in white, the golden boot winner from the 2016 CONCACAF Futsal Championship. Leconte, Chamale, looking for Mujen and out of play. for it on that far side. Aparicio will let this go out of play. Kick in for Canada. Bennett waiting to check in. Nujan looking for service up front. And he has really not gotten it so far. His Panamanian defense is really locking down. Well, one goal was enough for the United States. They still found a second in the 2-0 win over the Dominican Republic. Will the same be said for Canada this afternoon? the middle, Aparicio shot is wide. Lemos happy to see that go out of play as he might have been caught out. Another misplaced pass here from Canada. We're through the opening five minutes of this second half. Chamele taking off the ball. Here's Bennett. Trying to switch the play, but unsuccessful to get it to Mujen. Now it's Mujen. He's off the post. Oh, what a great chance it was for Canada to equalize. Another look here. Just ringing the woodwork. Corner kick now for Canada. Bennett will put this in. Another shot saved and then put out of play. Ooh, that was close from Jaime Londano. He put that right into the path of Daniel Chamele. Mujen taken down. Free kick and a foul against Edgar Rivas. 
Another look here. And stepping in a bit late and tripping up Mujan. Haregi. Two man wall. Haregi shot saved and then put in. Bennett equalizes for Canada. It's been a long time coming in this game, but Ian Bennett has found the goal for Canada to equalize. That little deflection threw off Landano, and Bennett was there waiting just to knock it home. And now does that give Canada the momentum to go and find a second? Renault gets this wide and Chamele wasn't making the run. What a big goal that is for Ian Bennett. His third goal in this competition. It could not have come at a bigger time for Canada. Hamilton, Ontario native, Ian Bennett. He's also played for the Canadian beach soccer team and that CONCACAF championship coming up in just a few weeks. Gets this back, Hinks, saved by Lemos. Another shot comes in. Ian Bennett, who is somewhat of a legend, you could call him, with the Milwaukee Wave of the MASL. Over 250 appearances, over 400 goals. Here's Bennett again. His shot is out of play. Mujen. Steps in to win this back for Canada. Elvin Doe will let this go out of play. Remember if it remains tied throughout this second half, we don't find a winner in regulation. It'll be two five minute periods of extra time. Low drive in. And if we're still tied after extra time, then penalties. McKenzie. He gets taken down, free kick Panama. Foul by Mujen. McKenzie will play this short. Now he'll get it back. Now the shot comes, and it's out of play. Ruman Milord. Rayon. Now it's knocked down a play. Kick in coming for Panama. Castrillon. This is cleared away. Maybe some frustration starting to set in now for Panama. Will they be able to find a winner in this second half? Referee didn't like that kick in, and so back to Panama it goes. Today's referee, Carlos Gonzalez from Guatemala.
Lemos, right down the middle. Rodriguez knocks this back for Landano in goal. Here's Leconte. Chamele. Something just off at the moment for Canada. They have not been able to get much going forward in this second half after they scored that goal from Ian Bennett. Panama's really locked down. This will be a foul coming against Abrego. Chamele going down. Asking for a yellow card here, as you can see. Looks like Chamele would have been in on goal if not for Abrego holding him up. Possession actually given to Panama in that situation. Over the top, McKenzie. Shot comes wide. Put in on the kick in, and the shot is blocked out of play. Bennett will retrieve this again for another one. Here comes a low drive in. McKenzie there to knock it clear. Oregi back for Lemos. Goalkeeper to goalkeeper. Landania will send it back downfield. Panama trying to win the second ball. Shot saved by Lemos, shot coming in from Alan Aparicio. Ken have been trying to knock this forward for a pivot up top and it really just has not been coming off in this second half. Numerous occasions just going straight out of play, conceding possession back to Panama. Ortiz. Ahead for McKenzie. And Paricio plays his back. Ortiz. McKenzie again. And Graham steps in just to disrupt the pattern for Panama. Past the midway point now of this second half. Ian Bennett's goal. That has been the difference in this second half and why we are back level. And here is Bennett again, playing it ahead for Chamele and out of play. Played up over the top. And this is blocked out of play. Locked down once more. Hinks will come to collect it. Renaud. Now Bennett. This is played behind Bennett. 
Now Panama come right down the middle. Aparicio taken off the ball. Big challenge coming in. And this stays alive. And going down was Carlos Perez. And a free kick coming for Panama. Past the nine minute mark now. Hinks. This is put out of play again. Mujen. It's going off the Canadian player last. Kick in Panama. They say that was four seconds, yes. They were very patient to get that ball back in and Edgar Rivas took his time. And back to Canada, now it goes. They're making a couple of substitutions. There was a conversation with Jose Boltana. Illusion looked like just accidentally bumped Londano. That was not accidental there. Free kick, Panama. Perez back to his left foot, blocked down. How quickly can, pa can Canada get it forward and it's immediately given back to Londano. Hinks. Right in front of goal, it's knocked back into the middle. Too far out in front, Canada just cannot take time on the ball at the moment. Very difficult for them to keep pos possession. And their passing has not really been that crisp in this second half. Through all of that, they've been able to find the equalizer. Mujen. Off for of Panama last. Panama now in transition. Rivas. Milord stays in play. Who will find that go ahead goal? Rivas turns the corner, gets taken down. Clean challenge. And Milord comes in. Tries to win it back for Panama, and this ball finally will run out of play and back to Canada. Remember the stakes. Winner moves on to the semifinals. Gets to play two more matches in this competition and also gets a trip to Lithuania in the 2021 FIFA Futsal World Cup. That all goes to the winner. What goes to the loser is well, not a whole lot, to be honest. That's why this game means so much. And there's the foul. Edgar Rivas. Safwain La is down.
So the injured player now getting back to his feet for Canada. And he'll take the slow walk off. Long shot comes on. Gets stuck in between the railing and the, the wall behind the goal. Ortiz, now for Hinks. Seven minutes to go. Remember, if there's no winner after regulation, we will go to extra time, two periods of extra time, five minutes each. There's still no winner. It'll be a penalty shootout. Played forward. Here comes Rivas, the captain back into the middle as it knocked away. Haregi just has to put this out of danger. Ortiz all the way into the corner. So now there might be numbers here. Rivas, shot is cued out of play. He wanted that on the inside of his right foot rather than the outside, which is where he hit it. 6.20 to go. Perez, now Rivas. And sliding in to knock this out of play is Marco Rodriguez. Shot comes on, Lemos forced into a big save. Can Panama find that go ahead goal right here? Corner kick, Hinks, Ortiz, another kick in. Hinks will put this in for Ortiz. McKenzie. Hinks will try to usher this out of play. Now he has to make a touch. Gets this across. I think advantage being played. McKenzie for Ortiz. Gets this across. It didn't go all the way through. Leconte just puts this out. Here comes Canada forward. Shot right in front, and Bennett couldn't put his foot on it to redirect it. Back to Panama it goes, just looking for that little back heel flick. It didn't come off. Put back in play. Perez, McKenzie, Aparicio deflected out of play, corner kick coming, under five minutes to go. McKenzie's low drive, saved by Lemos. If there was a Panamanian player there in the middle, might have been an easy finish, instead there wasn't and it's cleared away.
And the give and go, the shot is out of play by Milord. Cleaning up a couple wet spots in the penalty area. Another look at that last chance. throw downfield. Here's Horegi. And once again, straight out of play. Canada have really not been able to connect some passes here as this second half has gone along. It's been very difficult. Credit to Panama though for making it difficult. McKenzie. Aparicio. Campos. McKenzie back on it. Shot comes on, saved by Lemos. And these are the moments when Canada wants to go quick. And this one defended well by McKenzie, out fourth, kick in. for handball, play continues, Shamale wins the kick in though for Canada with under four minutes to go now. Shamale gets this in. Oregi towards goal, and Danio makes the catch. Trying to play this through, Mujen blocks it. And out for a Panama kick in. Campos. Milord. Trapped underneath Eduardo Horegi's feet, and he knocks it out of play. Brought down by Aparicio. McKenzie. Campo shot, off the post. Oh my goodness, so fortunate was Josh Lemos. Back the other way, Graham bouncing around and into the arms of Londano. Could be a fun final three minutes. Aparicio, Milord's shot is out of play. Look at that last chance right through the legs. Maybe took a small deflection off of Dico Reynaud on the way through. And straight off the post and then the last chance was out of play. Bennett is back on. Kite Salidopoulos, Canada's coach, said coming in. Ian is, of course, a big attribute to this team, one of the oldest, and he understands it's probably his last chance to get to a World Cup. So he's focused and ready to go. He so far leads this Canadian team in goals with three. He's already scored one today. Can he provide a second that would most likely give Canada the win? Two and a half to go. Here he is, Bennett. And 
out of play. Dico Reno, two minutes to go. Played four, headed away by Hinks. Perez to Rivas. It's knocked down a play. Kick in Panama under two minutes to go now. Canada wanted a foul kick in, but they'll continue on. Kenzie loses his out of play. Kick in Panama again. <laughs> Heavy challenge coming in. No call from the referee. McKenzie is down. 131 to go. Here it is again. I don't really see that how that isn't a foul. Going right through the legs of McKenzie and taking him down. Heavy challenge coming in from Dico Reynaud. On a kick in for Canada. Locked down and out of play. Lemos assisting the attack. Can't really put that extra player out there, or field player for either side, because it's a little bit too risky. Here's Bennett. Haregi back for Bennett. Renault, Shamale, Haregi. Canada trying to build forward. Their first real possession in quite some time. 46 seconds to go. Panama wanting to get Abdiel Ortiz on at the next possible moment. forward and into the arms of Landano. <laughs> 35 seconds to go. If not, we'll go into two five-minute periods of overtime. Locked out of play. Well, Panama no stranger to extra time. Last year against Cuba, they needed it to take down Cuba in the semifinal round. Final chance for Canada. Bennett, his shot driven in low. He'll just go off of last. It'll be a goal clearance for Panama. And there's the horn. We are going to extra time. 
We'll step aside for a few minutes, but after 40 minutes of play, it is Panama 1 and Canada 1. And we are just about set for extra time. The 2021 CONCACAF Futsal Championship. Second quarter final, a trip to the semifinals on the line, and also a berth in the 2021 FIFA Futsal World Cup. Panama and Canada locked at one after 40 minutes. So five minutes of two five minute periods here in extra time. And here we go. Canada in white, Panama in red. If it's still tied after the 10 minutes of extra time, we will go to penalty kicks. This one out of play. We'll go back to Canada now. First 20 seconds of this extra time period have expired. Well, the winner of this will take on Costa Rica or Suriname. Costa Rica, the heavy favorites in that game coming up next. Remember it was Panama that took down Suriname 11 to one. They were still able to advance on. Lemos with the save pushes this out. Full extension from Joshua Lemos. Hinks gets this back. And now Diaz, or Ortiz's shot is out of play.
Another shot out of play from Panama. Canada put it out of play. They've done that quite a bit in this second half. First minute gone from the first extra time period. Aparicio will put this back in play from the corner. The defense from Canada in this game makes it very strong against a Panamanian side that has scored a lot of goals already. 16 to be exact coming into today and limited to just one. Coming in field, Ortiz wide. Distribute quickly. And this shot deflected. Didn't take a deflection. Yes, corner kick. Sent downfield, LeConte with the back heel. And now, McKenzie in transition for Panama. Ortiz. McKenzie, shot, comes into the box. And Campos couldn't provide the finish. Lemos with the save. Long distribution, there was nobody there again from Canada. It seems Canada might be content getting this all the way to penalties. Shot comes on, Lemos forced into another big save. He might need to be very big throughout the final seven minutes of this extra time. Final two minutes here in this first period and five more minutes to follow. Ortiz, shot blocked out of play. Header coming towards goal. Campos wanted that one to come central. But Ribas put it out. Under two minutes to go. Well, if we come to penalties at the end of this extra time session, after the second one, Joshua Lemos has played a big game in goal today. And there's a pull of the jersey from Alfonso McKenzie. Mujen goes down. And a free kick now coming for Canada. Honestly, didn't really see the reason why he needed to do that as it looked like that ball was skipping out of play. Regi, low shot saved, and then Landanio able to grab it 
but Mujen might have connected there with Londano. He swung and missed at that initial attempt in the penalty area, and Londano is down. Another look at it here, Haregi. Well, it might have been actually his, his teammate. It looks like that's who it was that may have connected the captain, Edgar Rivas, but it looks like he'll continue on. He's okay to keep going. 90 seconds left in extra time period one. Rivas. Sends this through and out of play. Taking off the ball, Rivas. To get into the final minute in this first period of extra time. Shot is wide from Aguiles Campos. Here's LeConte to put this back in. Kick in for Canada. Lemos to start with the distribution. And he'll stay up for now. Has to be careful here, Lemos, not to get caught out. Into the corner, Bennett goes down. His play continues on. Bennett has to get back to his feet. Final 30 seconds. McKenzie. His shot well out of play. I think Canada are just gonna let this go into the second extra time period if that shows you any intention of what they want to do here, and Ian Bennett didn't seem too pleased with that. Bennett will take this on and send it wide. And the first five minutes of extra time is complete. So the teams will switch ends. About a minute break in between. So five more minutes, otherwise we're going straight to penalties. And you can see Ian Bennett is not pleased with his coach, saying, why, not, why aren't we going for it instead of slowing things down like they did? So far, the best player for Canada is Ian Bennett. He does not seem pleased. I don't think you want to make your best player unhappy. Jaime Landano has been big in this game for Panama. Can he continue it here in this final five minutes? If not, penalties. Get this second five minutes of extra time underway. Rodriguez shot blocked down. Appeal for handball on Ortiz. Play on. And out for a kick in. Oh, look at that from Ortiz. Loose touch, but able to keep it. 
Hinks. Oh, over the top. Nice move. Shot in the side netting. Carlos Perez. Aparicio who started the move and Perez had the shot go wide. Field and out of play. 4.14 to go. Second period of extra time. Winner to the semifinals to take on Costa Rica or Suriname, the next match on the schedule tonight. The first half goal just before halftime for Panama. Canada then equalized come the second half. Since then, it's been a stalemate. Very low scoring game, as you can see at 1 1. Hinks. Ortiz. Probing. Perez. On his left foot, blocked down. And cleared away. can't keep it in play. Lemos, down the line. Touched out of play. Bennett, Renaud. Through the legs of Ortiz, but into the arms now of Londano. Three minutes to go. And we get a goal. Milord setting this up. Perez, Milord shot out of play. You can hear the Canadian bench saying two minutes. That's how long we need to hold out for. Ortiz, Milord, Perez. Hinks keeps us alive. Ortiz. Cutting back into the middle, Milord, 2.30 to go. Perez. Ortiz. So much defending now from Canada. Seems like if there's a goal that's going to be scored, it'll be from Panama. Perez on the turn, the lockdown of play. Moregi comes on. Milord's shot is out of play. Let me also put this back in with 2.02 to go. Quickly put back in. Sent downfield. Chamele knocks it clear. Hinks heads it back forward, but straight out of play. 96 seconds left. Yeah. 
Lemos. Peregi. Chamele. Graham gets this back. Chamele shot out of play. Nothing really testing Landano at the moment. Play down the line. Shot comes on. Ortiz was crashing in. Lemos with a big save. Lemos needs a moment. Shot fizzled in. And if not for the touch, in front of me, that was Abrego coming in from that far side. Whoever it was, if Lemos didn't get a touch on that, it was surely 2-1 to Panama. Just over a minute to go. On the turn, Bennett taking off the ball. Abrego able to keep it. Now Milord and Hinks. Graham goes sliding into the boards behind the goal with under a minute to go now. down the line. Abrego. Under 30 seconds now. Penalties are on the horizon. And a kick into Canada. And now you can hear the Canadian bench saying 20 seconds left. They have held off this Panamanian attack and it might be enough to see them through to penalty kicks at the least. And at that point it's anybody's game. Giveaway, one last chance, Hinks, and a big sliding challenge coming in. Three seconds left. Hinks puts this in. We are going to penalties. How about this, what? The game, this has been 50 minutes in total. Nothing to split these two sides, so penalties now coming up. Always such a nerve-wracking moment, as now both teams will have to submit their kickers, and both goalkeepers, of course, so crucial for them. Step aside here for just a moment. Penalty kicks coming up next.
So here we go. It has come to penalties in this second quarterfinal match between Canada and Panama. Locked at one after two 20-minute halves and then two five-minute extra time periods. The winner of this penalty kick shootout will move on to face Costa Rica or Suriname. And of course, then the winner will go to the semifinals. And that also means a trip to Lithuania and the FIFA Futsal World Cup. Canada have been there only once in 1989. Panama, they have been to the last two in 2012 and 2016. And they have had a better finish each and every year since 2004, from fifth all the way through second place in 2016 in this competition. They have to win this penalty kick shootout. It's been 32 years. You're right at the top of the penalty area. Nazim Belguendu will step up for the first penalty kick for this Canadian side. Belguendu against Londano. will go through five rounds in this penalty kick shootout. Here's the first kick. And it's in. Canada score first. Canada have the advantage. Mondano not able to keep it out. for Panama, Ruman Milord. Can he level things after one round? He can, 1-1. One, one. Joshua Lemos in goal, looks like maybe got a piece of that. Right into the back of the net. So after one round, we're level at one with Panama and Canada, these two teams have been close competitors all day long. Maxime Lecomte, and it's saved. Londano makes the save, he paid the price for it, but he keeps it out, and after the second kick for Canada, Panama now have the advantage to take the lead. It's Abdiel Castrillon. A goal in the game against Mexico for the 30-year-old Castrillon. Against Lemos. And he gives Panama the advantage after two rounds. 2-1 to Panama. Robert Renault steps up, needing to score, and he does. So Canada get it back level here in the third round of penalty kicks, but Panama still with their attempt in this third round. Carlos Perez, couple of hat tricks for him in this competition. Held off the score sheet today. To keep the advantage, and he can't. It's saved by Lemos. And after three rounds, it's 2-2. Two -two. Incredible save from the 32-year-old goalkeeper, Joshua Lemos. Now back to Canada, Marco Rodriguez. <laughs> 2-2. Two, 
2-2 after three rounds. Start of round four. And Canada scores. There was some hesitation there from Rodriguez. Did this go in? And it definitely did. Another look at it from behind. Off of the leg, it looked like of Landano and into the top of the net. He wasn't sure Rodriguez for a moment, but it was a goal. Nagdiel Del Rosario steps up. Lemos just made a big save. Can he put Canada on the cusp? Del Rosario scores. So after four rounds, it's 3-3. And from here on out, it's sudden death. Clinical there from Del Rosario. And now here he is, the man of the moment for Canada, Ian Bennett. Ian Bennett, did that go in? It did not! Off the crossbar and out, and Panama with one kick of the ball can move on to the semis. Another look at this. Just off the arm of Jaime Landano. And the reaction from Bennett. And it did not go in. So this is it. Alfonso McKenzie to San Panama to the semifinals, and he does it! Panama is going back to the World Cup! The thrill of victory for Panama, the agony of defeat for Canada. What a hard fought contest, but Panama takes this one in penalties. What a match this was. Londonio came up with a big save at the end, and you can see the emotion from Panama. They will be going back to their third straight World Cup, and they do it in dramatic fashion, and there is the reaction of Ian Bennett. The emotions tell all. And what a tough defeat for the Canadian side. They battled all game long to get to penalties, but in the end, it was not enough. So Panama moving on to the semis. They'll face either Costa Rica or Suriname. That also means a berth in the FIFA Futsal World Cup later on this year in Lithuania. So the final score, it finishes Canada 1, Panama 1. And then in penalties, Panama takes it. They're moving on to the next round.